Hello folks, it's Victoria Tuma <clears throat> and uh, today I'm happy because I, am achieved, I have achieved the big job to make this bundle. Can you see this? It's written there. It's, ri it's written Rietuma against Swedish state. And uh, it is a bundle. Quite fat bundle of documents of 224 pages. And uh, the contest goes like this. And uh, <coughs> here is the title again. Can you see it? Yeah, there it is. And I'll just briefly show, show you through it. So it's the application general for four people are applying for my family to get back. Our lovely baby. And then there are 12 paragraphs with decisions, appeals, and applications. <clears throat> I'll probably do this. So. Isn't it? Right, isn't right. Okay, this is the decision. This is information. This is Höxta Förvaltningsdomstolen. This is Hanning Commons. It says that. We don't have right to appeal. This is Chris Wright's letter. This is Riksdagens ombudsman you say they will not have anything in it. This is all the instances. Some letter. This is my appeal from all four of us. This is my response to the investigation foster house investigation errors. This is the investigation decision where they write unbelievable lies. And then there is Kamaritans, the middle instance decision. And then there is our first, our first appeals, several of them. This is the very second day of Anton's life that we went with these ones. And this one I just wrote never went into the system because I have no rights to appeal, you see, they can take my grandchild. And I have no rights whatsoever to appeal to their decisions. These people who can't even write decisions, who lose the most crucial words, they should have all rights to take my baby, my only grandchild, with this little paper that is also even flaw flawed. 
And this is my very first application when I realized that they were planning to steal the child. Already two months before the birth, I wrote to them. And do you think anybody answered? Called me? Of course not. And then there is a whole bundle for the enormous material that we have been communicated with these people. Child removal cases in Denmark, Finland, Norway and Sweden. All these lawyers have been reporting. And do you think there is any action for the best? Not yet, not yet. Anyway, I have done my bundle and I have even got the documents that are needed. But they have already vaccinated our precious baby with this terrible infrarex hexa and Prevenar 13 and whatnot. Never thought, though we had written to them already when Anton was just two months that he shouldn't be vaccinated. This is the letter that we wrote and signed both me and my daughter, Anton's mother. Yeah. 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 Nevertheless, this is what we can do now. I'm writing to this interesting organization, the European Court of Human Rights. Do you really think they will help us? I actually have no hope that. Because that's the plot organization that has started all of this system. It's part of it. But anyway, at least I can do only things that I can do. I can't do more, can I? And by this, I've done my share. Now I go and fight to get my grandchild home safe, to cherish him, take care of him, to love him and raise him to be Latvian. That's what I am. Indigenous Latvian. Powerful people. Free people. Free men and free women. Let God be with us. Let it.